A rotable aircraft also referred to as a flying car is a hybrid vehicle that combines the flying capability of an aircraft with the option of being driven as an automobile on the ground. The rotable aircraft is typically recognized as a small plane with retractable wings that has both the freedom to fly in the open sky and drive conveniently and flexibly along roads. Most rotable aircraft fall into one of two styles, integrated all components can be carried in the vehicle, or on a trailer attached to the vehicle, or modular some aeronautical sections are left at the airport while the vehicle is driven. In the U.S., the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, has shown an interest in the concept with a $65 million program called Transformer to develop a four-person rotable aircraft by 2015. The vehicle is required to take off vertically, and have a 280-mile range. AAI Corporation and Lockheed Martin were awarded contracts in late 2010 for the Phase 1 program. Lockheed Martin's design was selected to continue to Phase 3. In April 2012, the International Flying Car Association was established to be the Central Resource Center for Information and Communication between the flying car industry, news networks, governments, and those seeking further information worldwide. Because flying cars need practical regulations that are mostly dealt with on a regional level, several regional associations were established as well, with the European Flying Car Association EFCA representing these national member associations on a pan-European level 51 independent countries, including the European Union member states, the accession candidates and Russia, Switzerland, Turkey, Ukraine. The associations are also organizing racing competitions for rotable aircraft in Europe, the European Rotable Aircraft Pre ERAP, mainly to increase awareness about this type of aircraft among a broader audience. Topic: History Glenn Curtis, the chief rival of the Wright brothers, was the first to design a rotable aircraft. His large, three-wing Curtis autoplane was able to hop, but not fly. In 1935, inventor Konstantinos Vlachis built a prototype of a tri-fibian vehicle that caught fire after the engine exploded, while Vlachis was demonstrating it in Washington, D.C. Vlachis' prototype is most notable for a newsreel that captured the incident, which left him in hospital for several months. The Autogyro Company of America AC-35 was an early attempt at a rotable aircraft. On March 26, 1936 the AC-35 was flown by test pilot James G. Ray with counter-rotating propellers. These were later replaced with a single conventional propeller arrangement. On October 2, 1936, Ray landed the AC-35 in a downtown park in Washington, D.C. where it was displayed. On October 26, 1936, the aircraft was converted to rotable configuration. Ray drove it to the main entrance of the Commerce Building, where it was accepted by John H. Geis, chief of the aeronautics branch. Although it was successfully tested, it did not enter production. The first rotable fixedwing aircraft actually to fly was built by Waldo Waterman. Waterman was associated with Curtis while Curtis was pioneering amphibious aircraft at North Island on San Diego Bay in the 1910s. On March 21, 1937, Waterman's aerobel first took to the air. The aerobel was a development of Waterman's tailless aircraft, the Watsit. It had a wingspan of 38 feet 12 meters and a length of 20 feet 6 inches 6 meters. On the ground and in the air it was powered by a Studebaker engine. It could fly at 112 miles per hour 180 kilometers per hour and drive at 56 miles per hour 90 kilometers per hour. In 1942, the British Army built the Hafner Rotabuggy, an experimental rotable autogyro that was developed with the intention of producing a way of air dropping off-road vehicles. 
Although initial tests showed that the rotabuggy was prone to severe vibration at speeds greater than 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour, with improvements the rotabuggy achieved a flight speed of 70 miles per hour, 113 kilometers per hour. However, the introduction of gliders that could carry vehicles such as the Waco Hadrian and Airspeed Horsa made the rotabuggy superfluous and further development was cancelled. Although several designs such as the Convair car have flown, none have enjoyed commercial success, and those that have flown are not widely known about by the general public. The most successful example, in that several were made and one is still flying, is the 1949 Taylor Aerocar. One notable design was Henry Smolinski's Mizar, made by mating the rear end of a Cessna Skymaster with a Ford Pinto, but it disintegrated during test flights killing Smolinski and the pilot. At the 2014 Pioneers Festival at Wien, Austria Aeromobile presented their version 3.0 of their flying car. The prototype was conceived as a vehicle that can be converted from an automobile to an aircraft. The version 2.5 proof of concept took 20 years to develop, and first flew in 2013. CEO Uri Vakulik said that the company planned to move flying cars to market. The plan is that in 2017 we'll be able to announce the first flying roadster. Topic. List of roadable aircraft Topic. Current development examples A number of companies are developing vehicles, although few have demonstrated a full-sized vehicle capable of free flight. Topic. Flying cars The Parajet Skycar utilizes a paramotor for propulsion and a parafoil for lift. The main body consists of a modified dune buggy. It has a top speed of 80 miles per hour, 130 kilometers per hour, and a maximum range of 180 miles, 290 kilometers in flight. On the ground, it has a top speed of 112 miles per hour, 180 kilometers per hour, and a maximum range of 249 miles, 401 kilometers. Parajet flew and drove its prototype from London to Timbuktu in January 2009. The Terrafugia transition is under development by a private company founded by MIT graduates. It is a roadable aircraft that the company describes as a personal air vehicle. The aircraft can fold its wings in 30 seconds and drive the front wheels, enabling it to operate as a traditional road vehicle and as a general aviation aeroplane. The company planned to release its transition, personal air vehicle, to customers in late 2011. An operational prototype was displayed at Oshkosh in 2008 and its first flight occurred on 5 March 2009. Owners will drive the car from their garage to an airport where they will then be able to fly within a range of 500 miles 800 kilometers. It will carry two people plus luggage and its Rotax 912S engine operates on premium unleaded gas. It was approved by the FAA in June 2010, and its anticipated base purchase price is $279,000. The Super Sky Cycle was an American homebuilt rotable gyroplane designed and manufactured by the Butterfly Aircraft LLC. It is a registered motorcycle. PAL V1 is a hybrid of a gyrocopter with a leaning three-wheel motorcycle. It has two seats and a 160 kW flight certified gasoline engine. It has a top speed of 180 km per hour, 112 miles per hour on land and in air, and weighs 910 kg 2010 pounds max. The Maverick Flying Dune Buggy was designed by the Indigenous Peoples Technology and Education Center of Florida as an off-road vehicle that could unfurl an advanced parachute and then travel by air over impassable terrain when roadways were no longer usable. 
The 1,100 pound (500 kilograms) Maverick vehicle is powered by a 128 horsepower (95 kilowatts) engine that can also drive a five-bladed pusher propeller. It was initially conceived in order to help minister to remote Amazon rainforest communities, but will also be marketed for visual pipeline inspection and other similar activities in desolate areas or difficult terrain. The plane-driven PD-1 Rotable Glastar is a modification to the Glastar Sportsman GS-2 to make a practical rotable aircraft. The approach is novel in that it uses a mostly stock aircraft with a modified landing gear pod that carries the engine for road propulsion. The wings fold along the side, and the main landing gear and engine pod slide aft in driving configuration to compensate for the rearward center of gravity with the wings folded, and provide additional stability for road travel. The Aeromobile 2.5 has folding wings and a Rotax 912 engine. It can travel at 200 km per hour, 124 miles per hour with a range of 690 km 430 miles, and flew for the first time in 2013. On October 29, 2014, Slovak startup Aeromobile S.R.O. unveiled Aeromobile 3.0 at Vienna Pioneers Festival, a two-person flying roadster certified in Slovakia. Topic. Partially flying The Scaled Composites Model 367 bipod is a developmental hybrid using joined fuselages, and twin combustion engines powering four 15 kW electric propellers. Topic. Road functional, or scale models flying Labiche Aerospace's Labiche FSC-1 is a developmental prototype flying car and is an attempt to produce a practical flying car capable of utilizing today's automotive and aviation infrastructure to provide true door-to-door -door travel. The vehicle is intended to be parked in any garage or parking space available for cars. A design goal is to be capable of automatic conversion from aircraft to car at the touch of a button. Labiche has flown a one-tenth scale model, tested a one-quarter scale model and was last reported to be working on the FSC-1 prototype for road and air testing, as of 2006. It was hoped that upon approval from the FAA, a new satellite navigation, hands-free, flight system to travel from airport to airport might eliminate the need for a pilot's license. Numerous safety systems and fail-safes are also planned on the FSC-1, such as a recovery parachute. No news has been added to the website since December, 2010. The Haynes Aero Skyblazer is a development stage vehicle that uses a single turbofan engine to provide thrust in the air and to generate electricity to power electric motors for ground travel. In. Car mode. A patented mechanism allows the wings to fold into the body of the vehicle, which is designed to fit into a single car garage and regular parking space. In aircraft mode, the vehicle will have stall capabilities and be able to use almost any public use airfield. It is expected to have a top speed of 400 miles per hour, 640 kilometers per hour, and a range of 830 miles, 1340 kilometers. The Skyblazer team has completed wind tunnel, stability and control testing and flown a 16th scale model. The Samson Switchblade by Samson Motorworks is a three-wheel concept with scissor wings. First introduced at AirVenture 2009, the switchblade is to utilize a single motorcycle engine and ducted fan to keep the propeller out of harm's way on the ground. The wheels and propeller are to be powered by the same engine, but wheel power only to be utilized on the ground. Development is ongoing at Swift Engineering of San Clemente, California. A predicted top speed of 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers per hour on the ground is nearly as fast as the anticipated 160 miles per hour, 260 kilometers per hour in the air. 
No parts are left at the airport after conversion from aircraft to ground vehicle, as the main wing and tail assembly retracts into the vehicle body. As of January 22, 2013, the team has also completed flight testing of a one-quarter scale model and are progressing on to building a full-scale remote-controlled model. The Crossblade Skyprowler is a flying small-scale version of their Switchblade type Skycruiser concept, using mid-air conversion between quadcopter and fixed wing. The wing is somewhat smaller than usual as the rotors perform the lift at low speed. Carplane, Germany Topic. Concepts The Aerocar 2000 was a modular design developed in the early 2000s but never built. The ICAR 101 project suggests the use of Flettner rotors in rotable aircraft design to combine compactness and increased lift potential. Topic. Popular culture Actor Bob Cummings owned one of four Aerocar eyes, and the car appeared on his television show, The New Bob Cummings Show, 1961-1962. The 1974 James Bond film The Man with the Golden Gun portrayed the villain escaping in a 1974 AMC Matador with a jet engine and wings mounted to the roof. In 2005, Monster Garage's hoster Jesse James built a rotable aircraft by combining an old Cessna with a Panaz Esperante. Topic. See also Flying car Personal air vehicle Comparison of personal air vehicles Cartercopter Intermodal passenger transport Terrafugia transition